Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I want to show you a very effective full body ab and core exercise that I see so many people still do wrong and what I want to show you is how to do it properly step by step so that you can reap the benefits of this amazing exercise. So let me quickly show you how to do it and then afterwards I will tell you exactly how I incorporate it into my workouts to get the best possible results. Now it's called ball slams. And the first thing you're gonna need is a slam medicine ball. Now be careful, there are medicine balls that can be quite bouncy. And when you do this exercise properly, if you have a bouncy medicine ball, it can actually cause you a lot of pain because I've seen someone break his nose doing this exercise with a bouncy medicine ball. So a normal slam medicine ball drips, just goes dead as soon as you drop it, okay? So make sure you have the right type of medicine ball. Now, let's see what most people do when they do the slam ball, okay? So, let's start at the bottom. They go down, it's all a normal squat. Bring it up and then they go, okay? And when they get really tired, it's just, okay? <laughs> so, and we've all been there. If you do this exercise properly, it can be quite tough and it will get you knackered pretty quickly. Now, like I've mentioned, this is an actual ab and core exercise, but a full body version, so to speak. And the thing that's actually gonna make your ab and core work is the resistance that comes from the combination of speed and the weight of your ball. Now, for your core and abs to work, you need to get your rib cage to move towards your hip, okay? So this movement there. That works your abs. Now what happens is if you pick this ball up, no matter how hard you slam it, you're just working your sort of lats, your arms, and a bit of your triceps, okay? You're not getting your abs involved because you haven't done that movement. Second of all, sometimes I see people do it properly, but they will go down and then they will do it quite slowly. So it's like this, okay? You didn't generate enough speed there to actually put resistance on your abs. So. What you need to do, it's actually a pretty explosive and quick movement. So, let's start at the bottom, okay? Just a normal squat, pick it up, then you bring it up, and then you need to slam it as fast as you can. So, you bend at the hips, you go, you go, you go, and then bang. So you come pretty close to the floor before you actually slam the ball into the floor. So, let's do this quickly, full speed, so you know how to do it, okay? Okay, that's the speed you need to work with. And if you do that, you will instantly start feeling your abs. So how do you actually use this exercise? Well, you can do it on its own if you want it just to have a nice ab and core workout and exercise to do on its own. But for me, I bring it in to like, let's say a full body high intensity weight training workout and it becomes my core and ab and cardio exercise. Or I will use it as a finisher exercise at the end of an ab or core workout. But the main secret is to get that speed going, go as fast as you can, bend over until you hit your abs and start feeling your ab and core work, and then continue. You will get out of breath pretty quickly because it is a big full body exercise, but geared towards focusing on your abs and core if you do it properly. So there you go, guys. Enjoy this exercise. As always, if you like this video, click, click on the like button. Put any comments that you have in the comment section. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet, and I will see you in the next one. Remember, have fun out there and keep it simple. Bye-bye.